Hello everyone, this is Winter Alliance, and I am back with another video. So today I'm going to be discussing how to use multiband compression on buses in order to really tighten up your mix downs. If you haven't used multiband processing before, there are some combinator presets that make this extremely fast and simple to set up. I'm going to be doing this processing on a base bus today, but this technique is also quite good for mastering as well. I just wanted to show you this technique in a little bit different context than usual, because it's actually extremely helpful during your mix downs, as well as your masters. Alright, so if we switch over to the rack view in Reason, we can go ahead and get this set up. So what we can do is click this load button right here, and navigate to Reason Factory Sound Bank, All Effects Patches, Mastering, and we'll be using this four band compression. You can just drag and drop it right onto the combinator. All right, so here it is. If you're not familiar with multiband processing, what it does is it splits the audio signal into four different frequency bands and allows you to process them all differently. So we have the lows, the low mids, the upper mids, and then the high frequencies. But that kind of brings the question, why would you want to do this? Well, it allows you to make a signal punchy with compression without messing up the bass or the high frequencies. If you had just one compressor on this bass bus, for example, the bass would trigger, uh, the compressors would trigger whenever the sub hits, which would then compress the whole signal and would not be very level or present. You'd lose a lot of the high frequencies in the bass bus. So that's one of the reasons why you'd want to use multiband compression in your mix down. Now, the better your compressor, the better this effect will sound. Two of my favorite compressors to use for this are, if we scroll down here, the Decam Bus Compressor from F Expansion, which is around $35 or so, and it's an excellent sounding compressor. It models the SSL, um, just like we have in the uh, master section inside of Reason. My uh, other favorite compressor to use is the SoftTube FET compressor, but this one's quite expensive and most people don't have it, so we're going to be using the Decam Bus Compressor today. The M class works great too, but I prefer the sound of the Decam because it's a little bit nicer. So what you can do in Reason 8 is you can just click on this compressor and drag it directly on top of the other effect. What this will do is auto route all of the wiring. So we don't have to change anything and it just keeps it like it was, which is an awesome feature. Um, something I never thought of, but they added it in Reason 8 and it was a great idea. So let's go ahead and just drag and drop all these on here. And now our four band multiband compression with the Decam compressor is set up. And don't worry if you don't have all these fancy plugins because it's more about how you process things rather than having the best plugins. All right, so how I like to do this is first by muting every single one of the channels. But before we do that, I'd like to show you what this sounds like before multiband compression. So this is the bass bus from this new sound, uh, this new song that should be coming out in a week or so. Uh, it might even be out by the time I post this video. I don't know, but I just went ahead and bounced it down to audio so that it wouldn't skip or glitch or anything. So this is what it sounds like without processing. All right, so that gives you an idea of what it sounds like. All right, so let's go ahead and begin the compression. So what I like to do first is I like to mute these all by turning them all off. And what this does is it essentially solos each of the bands. So I can start off with the bass band and then just move downward. So let's first sound like, uh, let's first listen to what this sounds like just solo. So it sounds like this in the low band. And I'm gonna do a ratio of four to one. Leave the attack at three milliseconds. I want a slower attack for the bass because I don't want to really squash those transients. I'm actually going to go for something quite extreme, about 5 decibels of gain reduction. Uh, because this is more on a bus, I like to really compress things to tighten them up. And you can always bypass this to see what it sounds like beforehand. This is usually a good measure too, because you want to make sure you're actually making a significant difference and not messing anything up or having barely no change at all. So let's listen to it with the compression. All right. Now let's move on to the low mid band. So as you can see, what this does is it kind of brings up the tail of the sound. All right, let's 
Let's bypass that. All right, so let's move on to the third band, the mid frequencies. And for the last band, the high frequencies, what I like to do is I like to have high frequencies that are really compressed and super tight sounding. Um, a lot of times the high frequencies are really jump out. So if they're not very compressed, it can make it sound like the high frequencies are really sticking out of the mix. So I like to avoid this by keeping a really fast attack and release setting on the compressor so that it squashes things as soon as they become loud. So let's keep the four to one ratio. I guess increase it up to the four to one ratio then start playing things back and compressing. All right, so let's go ahead and add all the bands back in and listen to the before and after. Now, it will be substantially louder just because of the makeup gain of the compressors, but I want you to listen to the punchiness and presence created by the actual sounds of the compressors rather than just the loudness and volume. So here's the sound like beforehand. So what you can hear is the sub bass frequencies really didn't change, but a lot of the mid frequencies and the tails of sounds were really brought out. What multiband compression allows us to do is create a much more natural sounding compression rather than really just squashing things. Um, it allows the mix down to breathe a lot more, but still to be super loud and super punchy. So it is a pretty subtle difference, but a lot of subtle differences will end up making a really big difference in the end at your actual mix down. And one more time, I'll play you what it sounds like beforehand and then just kind of switch back and forth. All right, so that's all I have for today. If you like the patch, don't forget to subscribe and like for more. And as always, if you have any sort of questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment below or send me a message on Twitter or something. I'd love to help you guys out. Thanks, and see everyone next time.